As the charm of playing golf disappeared, let's see in this video. Due to the declining trend of golf after 2003, people started thinking that golf is now facing a downfall, and now this is going to be hard for it to have a comeback. Although it was also right of them to say so because this is what was happening at that time and kept happening till 2018. A large number of people stopped going to golf clubs, and a progressive number of people started falling between 2003 to 2018. It is said that around 7 million fewer players were playing the games around that time, and many golf courses got closed, around 1,200. But does it mean that it will not have a comeback? When the pandemic started back at the end of 2018 and the beginning of 2019, people started to stay at home as they found it safer and healthier. They had lesser options to choose from, and mostly they were staying at home. There was a decline in the players around all the games, for example, football, basketball, baseball, badminton, cricket, etc. Its main reason was that people did not want to be indulged in those games where they would have human interaction physically, and they were avoiding touching each other. The statistics show that 4% of the members gave out their membership cards in Wales. Around 11,000 English players also stopped playing golf. So which game has lesser human interaction? The declining trend of golf in 2018 caught a boom in the middle of 2019 as people were sick of staying in their confinements and they wanted to get out of their rooms and play what was not unsafe for them. So, luck was in favor of golf. Golf was the only game at that time for middle-aged and aged people, which had minimum physical interaction with humans. So, that is how it got an increase in the number of players around 2020 and continues till 2021. Still, there are things to be considered. Let's have a deeper look at it. It is concerning for people around the elitists who cannot afford the very high-end and expensive equipment that golf itself an expensive game. It is not within everybody's reach, but it is also to be thought about. Is there something we need to know about it? Something more to it? Why is this classification being done and why there is not the inclusion of people from all classes being made in golf? Maybe it is because of classism. It does not also include people other than English and European, Asians are totally out of it and are not included. There is a lack of social diversity. There must be included to make things better even after the economic downturn. There was not easy for people to buy this expensive equipment, but still, no changes were made in this area. Should we have more free spaces? If there were more free spaces for people to play then, it would have been easier for people to initiate to learn, play, and become professionals. A lot of putting greens have been closed which saw a decline in their progression. Spaces need to be cleaner, and safer as golf is not a game to be played in rural areas, but more urbanized spaces, where there is a cleaner environment. So don't you think there need to be more spaces of this sort, where people could easily come and put the balls in putting holes? This initiative should be taken to make it a more accessible game, rather than exclusive for certain classes that could just be played in exquisite areas for people who want to look professional and conservative. Is Generation Z slouchy? People after 1996 are called Generation Z, which are most likely to be the youth today. So, it is very important to look at the trends here. What are the trends? Are they more into outdoor games or indoor games? Most Generation Z individuals like to stay at home and play e-games. Hey fam, want to come over for FIFA? They would just hang together at someone's home and play all day long sitting in front of screens. They are less like to go to fields and play and golf is something that could be learned by getting out of home and into the ground. Generation Zs seem to be lazier than millennials who are people born around 1981 to 1996. They were most likely to play in grounds as the technological advancement was also not as they are today. Hence, the activities have also changed. We see more young people and women entering, isn't it interesting? The older trends of golf have been of the sort that elite, middle-aged, or old-age people wearing conservative clothes, are too uncool for the outer world playing golf. But now, according to the studies, more women and young people have started playing golf. It is one plus point that more people will be playing the games as now the demographics of the players are not just limited to older men. Which seems super engaging and inclusive, no? There are around more than 15,000 golf courses in the United States. Should not they be increased? But they are not. But the good point is they are not even declining. So it is a win-win situation, right? If you want to play golf, you ought to be patient. One cannot go without the other. People these days play other games like basketball, football, and cricket. In these games, 
they would get the results side by side and they do not have to wait much. But golf, on the other hand, needs you to have patience of the size of a rock. What are the merits it holds? Playing golf is easier. Isn't it the biggest reason why we see a lot of baby boomers playing golf? It is a healthy and slow exercise that just includes walking around casually and playing, so older people find it easy to play it. It helps people to gain good relations with people and provides air to the lungs. It is not at a benefit. It also has mental health, and you will save the cost of a psychologist. Is it that there are no emerging professionals to serve as inspiration? Tiger Woods, the man known as the Lord of Golf, took retirement and stopped playing golf which affected the entire golf players. They lost inspiration as he was the role model for a lot of people. But again, it's a cycle no, who comes has to go, and then that I show new people come in. This is also healthy though, it lets new people come in. Is it something to be worried about, and is golf near to death or has already died? It is a matter of fact that golf has seen a decline for almost more than a decade, but before that and after that it has seen a boom too, and it is because it has a certain market that it targets, and that is loyal to the game. It serves that class very well. Some issues can be easily catered, but it would be an exaggeration to say that golf is dying because it is not. It is just booming these days and has a lot more to gain by learning and by making itself accessible, inclusive, and a bit inexpensive. Schools should be playing their role by engaging and making students aware of the history of golf and the benefits of outdoor playing. Rest, we know that not everybody has something good to say about everything. So, there is room for criticism, but that does not mean it needs to be believed. Thanks for sparing your time. Catch you some other time.